Gotta double check that these people have actually left. How the hell am I supposed to figure out where she went? You? Open your damn eyes! Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes! Mama... Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you see? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Money, moral. They... All you need to know in Annisburg. Like this fellow looks like real trouble. Oh, okay, then. No more than What do you mean I abandoned it? Oh, what the hell? I don't even know. Give him my letter. Hey, it's the Frenchie. Oh, he sent me the money. Nice, a money gram. I should read his letter, actually. Hey, partner. Horsey. Okay, let's go rescue this kid's mama. Bunkin' with some creep. Some 
trail. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. I feel like this guy's gonna jump me. Girl. Idiot. Even the hookers I'm ride. Sorry had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> So you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Even the hookers ride the horses like a lady. Mama! Mama! <sighs> Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. More money. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for for pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Dollars. It's you, my friend. This guy's your mysterious savior. Uh, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Guns, Mr. Friend. Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. Dang, does it have to be now? Hey, friend. 
What do you need? To me. Man in town named Jenkins. Got myself a new fancy shotgun that I got for free. It's a pretty sweet deal. So I need to go to either the back to the camp to talk to Reverend Swanson, or I could go talk to Micah. The mayor. Rhodes. I kind of want to go to Rhodes. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Let go. Please come along with me, horse. Do a ride along. Minimum weight. Let's go, girl. Man, I'm getting sicker and becoming skinny. Sicker and sicker by the minute. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right. on. And I'll right. tell you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Man, we shot the shit up on roads. Where are these wanted posters you keep talking about? Oh. Move. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? You ain't the. Wow. 
Time's up! No damn manners. See? That's what happens. Five of them. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Just gotta get out of here quick enough. anyone in roads so I'm not definitely not handing it over to the sheriffs seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. Run away, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Conductor life, easy. Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. But if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. But they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. Oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure.
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Well... Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! I'm such a nice guy. Mission completo. Kicking around here, what? Wow, I'm so far here. Can I buy a train ticket? Whoops. Nice to see you. Finally at the uh, veterans campsite. And his beautiful horse. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. The tyrant. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. It's a sweet he sounding name for a fish. Far me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feather, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. But now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. You think he'd make the biggest... Right all the way back there. Whoa, what's this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on a... now, Tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. Holy shit. Amos! Stay there. 
I'm thrown out here. Real quick. The bastard just bumped me. Don't kill Hamish. So sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Ah, I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Holy shit, he's freaking massive. Bring it in now. I can't see over my shoulder. Yes! Got him. Come on! Come on! Beating with a stick. Damn you! That's one ugly fish. Make sure he's unconscious. Doesn't jump back out of the boat. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Developing a friendship with this guy. Make sure I don't steal his horse. Camp. Let's see what the Reverend wants. Reverend. <coughs> Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York, 
We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea. Dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough Thank folks you. coming after us about adding arm. Let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man. Lead the way. The horse is off. Boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without <laughs> killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. <laughs> oh my god. Reservation. Try to reform school. Many women too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Try to set autopilot and run into tree. Come on. Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves. And even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think, just think, for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion, now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. 
Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I'm not forgetting my weapons this time. 